Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I'm a makeup artist from New York. I love that black shirt you're wearing. It just does a whole another thing for your look and just makes your eyes pop to a whole different level. <laughs> I'm just doing these compliments now every time when I start a video. <laughs> That's my new thing. I have a brand new video for you guys today. Today we are going to be doing a story time. So I'm just going to be getting ready with makeup, of course, and just telling you guys about the time when I used to work at Ulta. Yeah. Let's say everything in this video could possibly be fiction so that I do not get in trouble <laughs> So maybe it's true. Maybe it's not who knows But if you guys want to hear about the time I used to work at Ulta make sure to keep on watching <laughs> Of course, I'm going to prime with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, like always. So I worked at Ulta about, what's the year now? 2020? So I worked at Ulta two years ago, I think it was, in 2018. So I applied online, of course. That's the only way to apply. There's no way to apply in store or nothing like that. But yeah, I just, um, obviously I was a makeup artist. So I've been a makeup artist since like, I would say 2017. Um, I was a makeup artist at the time and I was like, hey, if I work at Ulta, you know, it would be good experience, A, and I could get discounts, you know, obviously that would be so helpful to get discounts on makeup because, hey, that shit's expensive. And before I was where I am now, like I was broke as fuck, like makeup was pricey as hell. I remember wanting to get stuff and I was like, ha, 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 if only I could afford that type of stuff. So I was like, hey, if I work at Ulta, I get a discount. So I applied online. Again, most of the time when I apply for a job, I had a job already at the time. But when I apply for jobs, I have no intention that I'm going to get the job. I feel like if you go in with that mindset, you're like, yeah, I'm going to get this job. Like, then you're going to like have high hopes. And then when you don't get the job, you're going to be like, and you're going to hate your job more. So I kind of apply with like the intention of not getting the job. But they called me for an interview, of course, and they were like, yeah, come come in for an interview. And I was like, do I have to come with my makeup done? And they were like, yeah, you could come with your makeup done, whatever, 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 right? So they called me for an interview and... Okay, wait, my face is fine. <laughs> Hold up. Pause before we go in. What happens? Did I get the job? Wait, obviously I worked. I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'm just going to prime my eyelids with the MAC Paints Really Paint Pot real quick. So I prime my eyelids with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm just going to go in with the Conspiracy Theory Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I get the interview. So they call me in for the interview. And it was a pretty easy, the interview. I don't remember any specific questions. But yeah, there's nothing specific that I remember about the like um, interview. It was nothing difficult and it, they weren't like intimidating or anything. I actually did it with one other girl at the time, but they just like brought us into the back room and they were like, you know, uh, how long have you been doing makeup? How much do you know about makeup? Like, um, have you done retail before? Blah, blah, blah. Just like the regular questions, I guess, you know? And then obviously they had sex like, do you do drugs? Stuff like that. <laughs> like, you know, like any job. I don't know if you guys had interviews before. But, um, yeah, they were asking the regular questions, of course, that they usually ask for a job. And then they started explaining, like, obviously what you do for the job and stuff like that. Which, at the time, when I was, like, wanting to work there, I thought it would be, like, Mac. And the thing is, there's no Sephora's or Mac near me. And plus, I didn't have a car. So, like, this Ulta was close enough that I could, like, get a ride or, like, take an Uber or something like that. But like a Sephora or a Mac wasn't an option. If it was, I would definitely work there. But mind you, I thought working at Ulta would be the same thing. But little did I know that was not the case. <laughs> but anyways, I got, um, so I was at the interview, right? And I don't remember exactly what they said, but they were just explaining everything. And then they were like, when they were explaining it, it kind of felt weird that they were explaining everything. Cause it kind of felt like we got the job. So then after I was like, also oh, we're like, she was like, so you guys are hired and we got the job on the spot. And I remember seeing a post on Instagram where it was like, if you get hired on the spot, just know the job's going to suck. And if that shit wasn't a fact, <laughs> cause that shit, if you get, just know, if you get hired on the spot, 
the job's not gonna be it. <laughs> it's gonna be a little crappy. But they hired me there on the spot. So like, um, they don't give you a schedule right away because like they're, they're gonna put you in training and stuff like that. So they like tell you your schedule for training. They tell you like when you're gonna come in and stuff like that. It's not like they're gonna train you like hands on or anything. You just have to do like the computer stuff, like any regular job, I guess nowadays, you know, you just have to do like all that type of computer training that we have. But yeah, so I would come in for the computer training and stuff like that. And another thing I did hate was like, you had to wear black, but like you had to wear like more professional dress. Like, like if you worked at Macy's or like JCPenney, you had to wear all black like dress clothes. And like for the girls, it's so easy because they could wear like anything black, like a blouse, a dress, a blah, blah, blah. But I had to wear like a polo or a button up black. They don't give you uniforms, which sucks. And you always have to wear that. And you don't always have to do your makeup, but it just sucks that you always had to do that. That was pretty freaking annoying. So like you had to provide it yourself, which isn't helpful at all, I guess you could say. But anyways, so I was doing that training back there. So it was kind of weird because like you're sitting in the back doing these like videos and everyone's like working and just coming in the back and like talking to you, I guess, because like they have nobody else to talk to. <laughs> Uh, I guess it was kind of cool being back there and like seeing all the product and stuff like that like how it comes in and stuff like that and like they they push like how you get free products and stuff when they come to do like the promotions and stuff like that but if you're like thinking about working at Ulta for that reason like that shit barely happens like freaking barely and I was in prestige personally and that shit barely still happened but I mean I guess it's still free stuff of course when it does happen but um, yeah, I was working in prestige basically, you know, you do the computer training and stuff like that It's not hard at all And after you do the computer training, they teach you how to use the computer up at the front So like the POS, the position, whatever it's called, I don't know I don't know what POS stands for, but I know they call it POS They teach you how to use the thing and you just scan stuff So it's not like you're putting anything into the computer Because everything's already in a database, obviously so you just scan it and it comes up and they uh, tell you to push like the like um you have to tell people to like sign up for the membership you know like you have to be like do you want to get an ulta membership rewards ultimate rewards i mean honestly it's not that bad like first of all it's not like they're stealing your info or anything it's literally points you're getting for buying stuff like if you don't sign up you're a nerd because you're just burning money basically because they give you free money but yeah they like tell us to you know get people to sign up for that and yeah, at first it was really cool. I thought it was really cool at first. I was so excited. I was so excited to like get to meet people and you know, like get free products and learn a bunch of stuff. But then I realized I was just working at a cash register. <laughs> and I was just, I was getting excited to like um, help people with their makeup and like help people find their foundation shade, just like stupid stuff. And they just stuck me at the register and I was just like ringing up people after ringing up people. And one of the girls there told me, they were like, oh, yeah, they're trying to make you, like, um, a cashier, like, main cashier. And I was like, but I wanted to work more on the floor. And that just kind of upset me because, like, they weren't telling me. But I just had to keep working cashier every time. And it's so boring because, like, they make you put your phone in, like, a locker. So, like, you're just standing there, bored. Like, there's no TV. Like, there's music, but it's so old, and it's, like, super store-friendly, and it's just you. Like, there's nobody to talk to most of the time. You're just waiting for to ring up the next person or do somebody's return or something like that. You know, just the Ulta, Ulta things. I liked when it, the store was really dead, I would uh, put away items. So, like, um, everything that people would drop off in the front, like, they would get something, and they, they'd be like, how much is this? And then they already know the price. They already know it's, like, $45, but they're hoping I'd be like, it's twenty two fifty, but they already know it's, like, 45 <laughs> so they'd be like yeah i'm not gonna get that but the all those products that they leave obviously we had to put them back so we put them like in this little cardi thing and um when i get the time i just go put them back and i like doing that because it was kind of fun it was kind of like a game like you had to find where to put it back even though i kind of knew where to put it back which is sad because that's how much i used to go to old <laughs> but um no i had fun working there at the time it i kind of feel like an ass now because at the time um somebody who worked there actually did my hair um and they they were amazing at it i actually freaking loved how they used to do my hair but 
uh, she like vouched for me kind of to, for them to hire me and then I ended up just leaving because I didn't like it at all and I felt so bad I was like I'm so sorry because she was like you know he's gonna do good and shit like that and like I am a good worker but I just did not it was not the tea for me that job at all but I'm gonna dip into I'm gonna dip into just a theory with my finger and put that on the inner corner of my lids okay that came out really nice Yeah, but I think honestly, all the customers, if anything, just felt like, why would I take advice from this kid who's a boy? <laughs> like, I would honestly recommend them stuff and they would just, I feel like they wouldn't care, honestly. They'd just be like, yeah, like, okay. But I mean, I was giving them that good advice. Some people would take it, but definitely a lot of people ask you for stuff. They ask you, what do you think? Like, is this better? Blah, blah, blah. I ask that all the time too. I'm like, you know, what do you think? Is it honestly worth it? Because a lot of people there, you know, they pick up a lot of that stuff early. All the time. I'm gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation. Yeah, but most of the people who worked there were really fun. I don't think I had any, com I never had any issues definitely with anybody. And I definitely don't have any, I never, I don't think I have any complaints about anybody there. The only thing is a lot of people actually that cover their shift constantly. People were always like, and people like I never even talked to too, they would have no problem just hitting me up on the group me and be like want to cover my shift <laughs> and i'd be like you know this isn't my only job like i can't i'm sorry i just can't cover your shift but you know those kind of people who like ask you for them to cover their shift at last minute and you don't and then you kind of feel like they hate you like you know what i mean like you low-key feel it you know they like are just like low-key just like fuck you because you didn't take the shift <laughs> i could tell because it's they're, they're like they don't show it but you know it <laughs> But, um, yeah, I only worked there for, like, three months. I didn't work there for that long, but that discount was nice, though. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I definitely learned a lot of things working there. It was just definitely not what I expected. So I think, if anything, I'm gonna go in with the El Maquillage fucking Flawless Concealer. My foundation and my concealer are now done. Now we're gonna go into bronzer. We're gonna go into the Marc Jacobs bronzer. Yeah, my favorite customers were the ones that would bring back the products and they would act like they didn't use it. It would be like, it wasn't what I thought it was, blah, blah, blah. And like literally it would be dipped into an everything and used and I'd be like, oh uh, yeah, like if, as, if they use it, As if they used it for like an event and then just returned it. I'd be like, okay, yeah, that's just funny. Yeah, but I think I've only returned one thing to Ulta before and it was, I think, a palette. And it was just cause I got an extra one and then I ended up not needing it. I literally didn't, no, no, no. I got a MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which I thought was the Painterly Paint Pot, but it was something else. It was like a shimmer Painterly Paint Pot. And it is not what I wanted, and I returned that. And I remember I touched it too, and I felt bad, but I was like, I thought it was something else. So that's why I was excited. And then I realized it wasn't what I thought it was. Besides that, I think my favorite thing about working there was honestly, honestly the discount. <laughs> I hated like that you had to you had to bring a clear bag because like, um, if you. Cause like you obviously you couldn't be stealing like they had to check you because I guess theft was a big problem beforehand with like other people so they literally did not trust anybody with anything at all, which was hikey kind of annoying because it takes a toll like the first time you're like yeah I get it but then I'm just gonna go in with the Anastasia blush trio after a while you're just kind of like oh this is so freaking annoying that they have to do it every single time. You know, you have to freaking get checked and check the other person and just, it's kind of, it gets old. It gets repetitive. I could not imagine doing it for like three, four years. Which is, and it's pretty nice because in the company, 
you can actually move up and you could like get better positions like i met a lot of people who like you know they're with the company a long time and they really had good jobs but it just wasn't for me i definitely don't regret it though if anything i kind of regret leaving early i kind of felt like i should have sat it out a little for the discount to meet the people who knows but i always feel like i should have stayed a little bit longer <laughs> I felt like I didn't work there long enough. I feel like it, it just wasn't eh, me. Maybe Sephora would be more like a place I could work. I don't know. At least they give you a uniform there. Because I used to work at Starbucks. And I also used to just like wearing an apron. You know, like you could wear not whatever you want. But like what you can wear is like pretty a b big range. So you didn't have to worry too much about what you had to wear. Which, had to, which was annoying. Because working there at Ulta, it kind of felt like, and being, it kind of felt like I had to have my clothes on me 24-7 just in case I had to go to work real quick or something or get called in, you know what I mean? Which is kind of annoying. But, yeah, eventually, it started deteriorating on me. And with my other job, which was way better, I worked with dogs. So, like, dogs, makeup, <laughs> you know. And I was already doing makeup most of the time. So this was just, it was more to get the discount. And like if Ulta, no, to be honest, the main problem was I wasn't getting enough hours. And I'm a hustle person. Like I like to make money. I like a job where I can work. Like I can work to get money. Like I could work a lot of hours. And it wasn't just the case there. Like they had a lot of workers and they spread out the hours, you know, because it's a store that fluctuates a lot in hours and holiday times and stuff like that. And they need seasonal labor. So it just wasn't like that. So they would give you like 16 hours and I just hate that. Like I hate a job like that where they're giving you such little hours. Like I'm not that type of person. I hate that. I'm not I'm not going to work somewhere to come in like 16 hours a week and get that like cheap ass paycheck. Like I'm trying to work like 40 hours. You know what I mean? Or is that just me? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go in with the Jacqueline Cosmetics Highlighting Palette. No, but like as I was saying, I eventually quit Ulta. <laughs> so once, how did I, I didn't really quit. I just kind of, it sucked because I kind of just stopped showing up. And then I just, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to work there anymore. Because it, it kind of, I felt bad to quit because I had just gotten the job so recently. And I'm not the type of person to like get a job and quit right away. So I felt so bad quitting, but I was just like, yeah, this isn't really it for me. And I kind of told them I had another job on the side. So I didn't want to be like that person to leave that job for another job. But it's not that big of a deal. They had mad people there and I was the only guy there. So it felt really weird too, <laughs> not going to lie. But I'm going to go in with this Bury Me in Lipsticks in Creme from Colourpop X Safia Nygaard. Just looks like this. No, but yeah, I eventually quit Ulta. So, that was that. I went back to the puppies and it was no more Ulta for me. I feel like the craziest, what was the craziest story there? Oh, I know, I know. I got you. Ready? All right, let's finish it off with the bank. Yeah, so the the thing I hated was that working there, so if someone, we could see like cameras and stuff, if someone was stealing, you couldn't say anything. Like you couldn't go up to them and be like, I know you're stealing, I know you have that under your shirt. You could just recommend for them to take a basket. You could be like, hey ma'am, or hello sir, would you like a basket? To try to get them to put those things that they have in a basket. But besides that, you weren't allowed to be like, hey. Anyways, I personally hated that, like, that it was so stupid that we couldn't say anything um, it was so stupid that we couldn't say anything about the customers like taking something or something like that but that was just ridiculous but i don't no nah, i was gonna say i don't think that many people see but of course i think that because obviously they're probably good at it I couldn't tell <laughs> there's expensive shit in that store too i'm gonna go in with jeffree star cosmetics the gloss in the shade shockwave yeah i definitely don't I definitely don't regret it or anything. I think it was meant to happen so that I could see what products customers like to buy. So that now when I'm working on my brand, I know what people like. And you know, I like, I like, <laughs> I know what people are looking for and what they're not looking for in a product and stuff like that, which is nice. Cause I learned all that from watching people buy stuff and them asking me for recommendations on different products and stuff like that. And I wouldn't have got that experience if I didn't work there, 
which honestly I will never regret. But would I ever work there again? Hell no. <laughs> Frick no. I like um I like what I currently do. I do YouTube. I do my podcast. I do the merchandise. I do have another job, but I would not work there again. <laughs> And last but not least, we're just going to go in with the Bobbi Brown Smokey Eye Mascara to finish off my eyes. But yeah, this is the completed look. This is the going to Costco look, of course. Make sure you guys recreate this. Tag me in it. Send me pictures in Costco. <laughs> that's where I'm about to go right now, to Costco. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But yeah, that's that's the time I worked at Ulta. It was nothing crazy. I mean, it's just Ulta and nothing. Nobody got shot, nothing like that. Now, if you guys want to hear the time I worked at Starbucks drop a comment down below so i can tell you guys about the time because that job was honestly crazy <laughs> i think it's because i worked there longer but starbucks was insane man i like how this look came out it's something quick but nice yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys check out think of the podcast my podcast is a brand new episode every single week the link will be in the description down below Make sure you guys check out Think of the Merch. My merch that will be coming out very, very soon is right around the corner. It will be releasing June 1st, and we will be doing four $50 gift card giveaways on our Instagram. So make sure you guys go follow. The link will be in the description, and make sure you guys sign up for the newsletter on our website, dkmerch.com. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.